Hi. Hi everyone. Hi. We wanted to um, have a little video on the, something that happened today uh, with a, a conversation we had with our neighbors. And by the way, this is Bella, our dog. And I guess she wants something from us, but anyway. So what happened with uh, uh, that we were wa we, we were walking on the street and uh, a neighbor just said hello to us and started the conversation. And then uh, the conversation went to veganism. And uh, the neighbor said, uh, oh, by the way, I don't want to talk about it because uh, I, don't, uh, I don't like people proselytizing. And but actually, we didn't start the conversation. She yeah. did. We didn't start talking about veganism. Yeah, we were talking about dogs because she, had a, she has a little dog. And, uh, and she and just randomly said, my dog's not vegan. Yeah, my dog's not vegan because she probably knows that our dog is vegan. Although we've never talked to her about it before. Yes. And and then, but that, that sense, the sentence of proselytizing came almost right away. I, I don't want to talk about it uh, because the, I don't like people proselytizing. I don't know if she mentioned the uh, personal choice argument, the typical personal choice argument, but the comment on not proselytizing was very close to that, to that um, sort of argument of personal choice. So, uh, what the, com the, the way the conversation went is the, that she uh, continued to, to be uh, pretty close and uh, we, we were actually, Kay and I was trying to, to chip in also, was we were trying to uh, make her see that it's not a question of personal choice. So the typical answer that a vegan would do that animals are hurt by uh, us eating them and uh, and not being vegan so uh, we wanted to discuss if we could have uh, done something different it was actually kind of cool that she uh, offered that her one of her kids she has three kids and one of her kids i think she said it was the youngest and she's 26 yeah. is vegan and i said oh that's cool is she do you know the reason that she's vegan and she said I said, she said, I, I don't know. And I said, well, is she vegan like for yeah, health? Yeah, that, that's an interesting comment. I don't know. It's very strange that she doesn't know about Yeah, is it, is it for health or is it for ethical yeah. vegans? And yeah, she said she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. So I got the feeling that there was a little bit of tension there between her and her daughter. I don't know. But her dog, yeah. who is just a little puppy, she said she feeds the puppy uh, raw meat raw meat yeah and she said because the breeder told her that she had to mm -hmm. so there's a lot of things to unpack in all of this and one of the things that's quite interesting to me is this idea that you well first of all just because somebody tells you that you have to feed your dog something doesn't mean you have to do it the yeah. dog you know lives with her now yeah um and, and I, I basically I just feel kind of sad about the conversation that it's it's like almost impossible to talk about veganism without the person that you're talking to getting upset they just it's normal that they're gonna feel uh, like that feeling of guilt and, and sort of uh, I don't know shame but like no matter how hard mm -hmm. you try to, to yeah. just say hey I don't worry I you see me too. I understand. But, My but dog was is, not always but, vegan. This is the, uh, the, it, the 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 big question with all, all these conversations. So there's two layers. The one is uh, okay. People feel guilty as soon as we mention veganism because we we tap into some typical well, what psychologists call cog cognitive dissonance. So people are doing something against their own belief because. If, if they get upset, it's probably that they believe that it's not good to hurt animals, but then their habit, their way of eating is to hurt, to, to eat animals that, that they are hurt in the process. So, there's a cognitive dissonance. Hey, Joe, can I just ask you a question? Yeah. What time is it? Because she certainly wants something. She's been swimming, she's been for a walk. What do you want? What yeah, time is it about? It's not uh, dinner time yet. I, I okay, you keep talking and I'm going to give her a two, yeah. two bites to eat. So right. that she'll be happy. You keep talking about what happened. It's two forty-eight. <laughs> so, while uh, she's gone, I can say that uh, basically this person has 
definitely cognitive dissonance. That's the first layer. And the second layer is that the person doesn't want to explore that with us. Maybe because it hurts. And, uh, and then when something hurts, in, like in cognitive dissonance, it's normal or it's sort of automatic to say, okay, I don't want to hear about it. And probably some of you that are listening, you might have this instinctive reaction of not being, uh, not wanting to talk about it or not wanting to put that in your mind because it hurts and it, it, it does hurt. But there is a more ethical way to get out of this kind of dissonance, which is uh, just exploring the idea at least of changing her, beha her behavior and that person was was totally blocked and, and and she was continuing to make this argument that we are sort of like religious people trying to promote a religion or proselytize yeah i kind of missed a bit of what you said but i i would definitely try to make the point to her that veganism is nothing like religion because religion is based on beliefs like you believe that something exists but veganism is based on science and ethics it's a moral choice yeah. not to harm animals as much as is practicable and i just read an article and it's it's strange that the article is, is very old it was from 2013 from the, uh, the huffington post where someone was making this argument and how, how we have all even in 2013 when beyond meat was not there we already there was already all the arguments were there to 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 be vegan, it, it was first of all, and the main main argument for me, it is possible to be vegan. Uh, it's and it's also healthier. I mean, in general, science says that it's healthier to eat vegan food than to eat animal products. Um, you might argue that is not completely proven, but what it what it is proven is that it is healthy to to eat vegan, and uh, is it healthier than other diets? that you, we might discuss for a long time about that but it is definitely healthy and and good so and then uh, we have uh, we have other reasons like well first of all the, the the harm that we do this summer just these two reasons together it is possible and the animals are hurt should make us think that we shouldn't do that we shouldn't eat it's just ethically wrong to eat to, to harm the animals if it's possible to avoid it. Yeah, and we live in an area where there are grocery stores, so it's not like we're living up north and we have no choice but to kill a seal or, or whatever. Yeah, exactly. We all have access in suburbia, in cities, in towns, to stores where you can buy beans and rice and yeah. lentils and all things that are healthy and easy to store and cheap not even expensive but, but uh, the other the other thing so if we go back to the argument with the, the, the neighbor and the and the uh, discussion about the right to tell her or the right to talk about it and uh, uh, so the, the question here is uh, it's that there is a victim here uh, that is the animals so we we uh, the, the personal choice argument stops when there is a victim like uh, like in uh, like it's other, not like you're choosing like yeah. uh, between the green bull and the red bull where this doesn't matter so basically our freedom our freedom is limited to, to the freedom of other beings <laughs> just just that's right. that's the main thing so uh, so now I this, tried to the, the question the question is I was trying to make the argument but I didn't have, maybe I didn't have enough time to develop it but. The question is, society is not thinking that hurting animal is wrong in, in a, at least at least certain type of animal, which is absurd. That society thinks that way, so it's not it's not uh, it's not allowed to to hurt a dog, but it's allowed to hurt a pig or a cow. That that's it. it the, we we vi ethical vegans believe it's absurd yeah. because in all ways that matter morally, animals are the same. They yeah. all feel pain. They all feel fear. They all feel love and they all just want to be loved. They don't want to suffer. Yeah. And, and so uh, there's no difference between a cat, a dog, a but pig, or a cow. What we can give to that lady is that society doesn't think that way because it has a sort of it's, this, this, this paradox. A, yeah. Yeah. It's this. In a way, we understand. We totally get it. Lack we, of we logic. Had, we yeah. had animals for years, so we understand that people yeah. do. And, yeah. And but, but, um, 
it's it's really I, discouraging that we cannot even that that lady didn't even wanted to talk about it and yeah. the giving argument based on is it right or wrong to do certain things and she said oh it's a personal choice everything is no, so come, we are come free here. to do come, come. whatever Sit. whatever we want Sit. so but we're Sit. unfortunately Sit. we are not Sit. so we have to live together with other beings yeah so if anybody has any advice um, anybody who's been able to talk to people, uh, neighbors, to go others, through, go through, that, through the, the that, wall. that wall that was there. Yeah. Because our goal is really not to hurt anybody, to upset anybody. Mm. We just, um, you know, want to talk about the animals because we feel it's our ethical duty to raise the issue when it's brought up. In this case, we didn't even bring it up. But I guess the fact that you walk down the street, <laughs> your shirt and me, that's says the word vegan on it. This is it, our proselytizing. Yeah, I guess we're proselytizing, <laughs> but you know, then you could also say people are proselytizing Adidas or the Gap, mm -hmm. when nobody would ever accuse them of doing that, right? Yeah. So it may be like, hey, how dare you walk down the street with that Gap or Adidas shirt and proselytize? So that doesn't really make sense. All right. Uh, yeah. So if someone has some some, some ideas. Uh, please uh, comment. Yeah. In it. And I really wanted to tell that uh, that woman that I was, uh, you know, was proud of her. She must, or that she must be proud of her. That have, she has a vegan daughter. How hard is it for this daughter to be vegan in that family when there's no support? Yeah. Like, oh, if she ever happens to see this video, you know, hug to her because yeah. that's and really we, we difficult. We are proud of that, uh, yeah. that person. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. So thanks for chatting. Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> Bye. And uh, if you're not yet vegan, it's not too late. You can be vegan from, from now on. Now on.